Okay. All right. So, are we ready? Yeah. Let's do it. No. Why aren't you ready? What's stopping? Okay, you? now I'm ready. Okay. So, you guys have just fought the spider, uh, Neznar, or Nez, whatever you want to call him. And the keeper of the forge, correct? Yeah. You also had fought in, fought and fought, uh, that boy. I like that word. Fought in. You just fought in there. Um, and yeah, you didn't really do much else. We ended the session there. Just trying to do. So you explored the cave, went with Nez uh, to the Forge of Spells, or what he called the Forge of Spells. And yeah. What do you guys want to do? Uh, so we got the forge itself that we haven't gone into. Let's go into the forge. Yeah, you have yeah. the this room right here. Yeah. All right. So when you walk in, uh, you this large workshop was badly damaged by ancient spell battle that laid waste to the mine. Work Ooh. tables taking up two corners of the room are scorched, and the ah. pl the plaster has burned off the masonry. In the middle of the room, a stone pedestal holds a small brazier in which an eerie green flame dances and crackles. The brazier and its pedestals appear to have been untouched by the forces that have destroyed this area. And uh, that's what you guys see. So you're kind of like in a workshop almost. Okay. Is there anything that's like still usable or is it all kind of just destroyed? Uh, you can give me... Uh, give me an investigation check. And Max, you're magical, right? You're a magic boy? Yeah, I like Arcana, I think, or something. Can you roll me an Arcana check? Oh, my investigation check was five. A five? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit! Okay, oh, that's a that nat 20. Every... I sensed something. Yeah, so it's, it's, <laughs> that's, you're not Bing. That's Bing's voice. God Sorry, damn it. I, just, I, felt, I sensed something, dude. I, was, I felt something. So, uh, you can identify that this uh, is the source of magic that has kind of been lingering around in this cave uh, while you've been in it. Um, and you can realize that this is probably what was used to enchant items as well um, just kind of a little bit of your arcana um, and knowledge of like little knowledge of what you've heard you can kind of put things together this green flame this brazier was probably what was used to enchant things um, yeah. when it was fully Icy. functional oh fully functional Can I, is there anything to interact with at the forge? Uh, so right now it's just like a little brazier with a green fire in it. Uh, okay. how would you like to interact with it? Um, shit. Uh, uh give me a second. I'm not a hundred percent how, how I want to do this. Okay. Uh, Mike. I saw you rolled an investigation. Uh, so Malachor kind of looks around with Bing, and you guys find on the workbench on the far uh, east side, kind of that back wall, you find a mace and a breastplate um, that feel a little different. Um, and this is a plus one mace and a plus one breastplate. Oh, yeah. Plus one breastplate? Is a breastplate medium armor or is it heavy armor? I think it's heavy. That's that's all you make. Uh, okay. I don't wear. Wait, <clears throat> wait, hold on. I do not require this because I think Mike already weapon. has <clears throat> the this armor. Is, it is medium actually. It's so. Oh, it's medium armor. So Mike, this will be a fifteen plus dex. If you don't have dex, don't do anything. So. It'll be a 15 plus your um, shield, which is a 17. Is that higher or lower than what you have now? That's lower than what he has. He has an 18 armor class. Okay. Can anyone else wear breastplate? Me. Oh, hey, sounds like Tim's getting an upgrade. 
if Malakor, you guys role play a little. Malakor, your hmm. armor seems to be better than this. Yeah, I don't need the shit armor. Big <laughs> <laughs> um, role play. <laughs> yeah, chainmail is sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> and your dex is negative one, Mike. So it would actually be like it would for you. It would be fifteen minus one armor class, <laughs> which is not cash money. So who's gonna take? Is that going to Tim? Does Sugon need I mean, armor? Th is Sugon? Are you proficient with medium armor? I believe so. I use scale armor or chainmail armor. That's that's huh? medium, right? I, I scale male armor. Oh, he is proficient with medium armor. So that could be another option, kind of. Oh, you know what, <laughs> dude? I forgot Omri's not here. Yeah. Where the fuck Omri is Omri? Could also wear oh. that. Where the fuck That's... is he? Everyone, dude, blow his ass up. I know. Right I dead ass looked at the board and I was like, I feel like we're missing one person, cause Zach was here and it was six, and Omri said he could play tonight. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Everyone, everyone hit him up. Message. Okay. We can keep where, playing, but I'll, I'll message him. Where are you? Um, so, at? does Max want to take the armor? Sure. All right. So, uh, Sugon, Stats you missing. notice. So, this is a 15 plus dex armor. So, it's so a breast. It's 15, my dex, right? it's no, 15 so... plus dex to a max of two. So, what is your De here, I actually I have the oh, power. Oh, uh, his dex is probably okay, so it is two. Class, fifteen. It yeah, is so two. my armor class is seventeen right now. Yep, but that's with one from enhanced defense. So that means I'll be at eighteen. Hell yeah, Ooh, you guys are on. fucking tanky. All of you are tanky. Um, but you're also almost level five, so that makes sense too. Um, Sugon, you notice that this breastplate has a like dr a golden dragon motif. Uh, designed on the front of it. Um, God damn. And <clears throat> I'll say there's like a little tag on it that kind of gives you a description. You know when you buy like clothes, it sometimes tells you about the company. Uh, that's there. <laughs> and you, you kind of turn it over. There's a tag. And you, 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 <laughs> you find out that this was created by a hero of old Neverwinter named Tergon. And it grants you advantage on saving throws against breath weapons of dragons Ooh, spicy. so anytime i'm anytime a dragon is combating with you and does a breath attack you have advantage on that so i think you can put like a little note in your yeah uh, max your... i would put that in your like features and skills i would just type that in mm -hmm. um, yeah just i would i would put in your inventory breastplate plus one as like stuff that's on you and then if you're if you're ever like wondering about armor for 5e, you can go look up 5e armor and it'll give you a list. Um, so, so yeah, what, and is then my enhanced defense with that exactly. Uh, you have resistance. You said Elliot. Uh, so advantage. Exactly? You have advantage on saving throws against the breath weapons. Against breath weapons. Okay. Okay. And that's being, pretty, pretty I'll sick. say as they're kind of doing this, you look at the little card attached to the mace mm -hmm. um, max what did you try to oh i thought you typed something wrong like a profanity and it was warning you uh <laughs> you look at the little card on the mace and this is the light bringer um you guys remember if um if varus was here which I, I was hoping he would be here for this he found that diary in the red brands uh hideout and it talked yeah. about the lightbringer being here um this is the lightbringer uh this was made by a cleric of lathander the god of dawn um the head of the mace is shaped like a sunburst and is made of solid brass and it tells you below that this <clears throat> this mace will glow as bright as a torch on command and while it is glowing it deals a one an extra one d six radiant damage to undead. So this is a it's plus. A it's a plus one. Crude weaponry. I only use this. 
somebody else can take it if they want it. So, Ellie, it's a it's a mace, it's correct? A plus... Not like a warhammer. Nope, it's a plus one mace, and it does an extra one d six against undead when lit enough on command, and can be used as a torch. Because so. Honestly, I feel like the best person for <coughs> I'm sorry He's for this it. weapon would be Mike. Um, it is a bit of a damage downgrade from your long sword because it's only a one d six. But um, oh, the mace oh. is a one d six. Yeah, the mace is one d six. Okay, but it's a one d six plus one. So, but it's a strength weapon. Nobody else uses strength. Yeah, you don't have to use it uh, as well. You can we sell. To, it. Yeah, you don't have to use it. We could sell it. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah let's just sell it. All right. Well, I mean, it's a very good thing. I mean, if we're fighting undead, you do two d six with a one handed weapon. That's fucking insane. Yeah, you could like keep it on. You have the bag of holding. I'm and sure. Mike, it's also a plus one weapon, so that means it has a plus one to hit and a plus one to damage. So your plus to hit would go from what is it a six right now? It'd go up to seven. So there's there's slight trade off. You gain an extra point of damage, but you lose the possibility of rolling uh, an eight over a six. Um, but you do gain that plus one guaranteed damage. So like mm -hmm. potato, potato. You can use it as a light source as well. We can just throw it in the bag of holding now for when it would come into play. Yeah, you All don't right. you don't have to carry it now. It's... Into the bag. Stop. You just referenced a fucking meme. Into the bowl. You reference you you fuck Wait. It. I don't know the meme. You've never I... seen the Into the bowl, kid. Into the what? I I can't Into the bowl. Hold Put on, the Elliot. Into the bowl. Elliot, into the bowl. Okay, thank you. Can you not hear me? You're no, right, when uh, you say when out. you say like bowl, peaking. it it peaks and I can't really understand bowl. Oh shit. But that's into yeah, the bowl. yeah, that's what I was into the bowl. Okay, I've never heard that meme. Put the chicken into the bowl. Yeah, nope, that's right over my fucking head. All right, put the uh, mace check out... into the bag. Sorry. Can I check out the the like back like closet looking room? Yeah, there's the nothing the in there. Can you can you reveal? You you want me to reveal the other half of a room that has nothing yeah. in it? Yes. Okay, okay. So you walk in and it's a sex dungeon. The spec the spectator got freaky. Um, I'm gonna also give you guys a sh if you want a short rest while you're kind of in this room hanging out doing shit, you could take a short rest because I feel like yeah, pondering and, and exploring like feel like Thanks, that's man. yeah. You guys are kind of beat up. Okay, uh, before the short rest, I'm going to use my last two key points Okay. Uh, to do, which one is it? It's uh, Quickened Healing. I'm going to roll Martial Arts Die and regain nice hit points, plus my proficiency. Right on. So that would be five off that. Okay, everyone else? And then I'm going to use a hit die. Nice. Right, I think Ryan is. It, did everyone die? I feel like he's just gonna <laughs> be talking. Uh, to... right now. I think my potion of healing. I'm, I'm just waiting for an opportunity. Ooh, nice. Well, you can take the short rest That's first and use your hit dies, and then you could if Still you one. want nice. it. <laughs> if you, if you want. Wait, did anyone else fuck with the forge? No one has fucked with. Nah. You told me to wait because you were thinking okay. of stuff to do. Can I stick a sword in the forge? Yeah, in well, the fire. I'll say you put the sword into the fire, and now you're kind of all that happened. Like you had put that in before. You guys okay. started kind of talking about who's getting what, and you're taking the short rest. Um, Can we do the healing on the short rest again? Uh, it's the hit dice. Yeah, you did. You rolled right, the correct thing. Yeah, you did it correctly. So you'll add, and I, I think you guys, how many do you have? Le how much? Because you guys uh, took I one. Used three last time, okay. so I only had one. I have none left. I used all of mine last, last Can I time. Can I use cure wounds till I am full health? I don't. Um, it will use a spell slot. It's just an action. Yeah. 
Oh, true, true. It's spell slots. Yeah, yeah it uses easy. a spell slot. So it depends on how many spell slots you have maxed. So I don't think... I have three right now. Okay, so you have three spell slots. You have three first level spell slots? Yeah. You have so more you could... hit dice as well than just two. Yeah, you have hit dice because you didn't use a short rest last time, that last session. Yeah, so you, so use you have the four hit dice. You have all right your now. hit dice. Oh, okay, okay. I don't remember how many I had. And it was um... it was, you probably used three because I think you and me used three. Tim used one. I know, I no, used Tim all used of mine. All of his. So I'm just going to add 11? Yep. Oh. But you still have the. Uh... What, what was this healing I'll thing? Lay on hands? Too. His lay on hands um, pool, yes. Yeah, which that Max, should still be at like 30. Mm -hmm. Just as a heads up, uh, your sorry, hit dice is only a D8. Uh, it's not a D10. Oh, shit. I thought it switched. No, it no. doesn't upgrade or anything. It's Into just a D10. Holy shit! <laughs> so we're all pretty good. 12, 6, 7, 6. So if you want to use a cure wounds on me, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Into the bag. Because I have six yeah, health. Don't heal yourself. But now, if you want to use them all on me. Well, I mean, you had the hit dice, and we're not going to take another short rest. How much you have? Oof. I have six health. You're not uh, supposed to be able to say numbers. Yeah, what number? So, Max, roll a D8. <laughs> Are you talking about for his hit dice? He already rolled his hit dice. No, no, no. He, he said he was going to cast Cure Wounds on me. Yeah. For the Cure uh, Wounds. So Cure Wounds is 1d8 plus your spell casting modifier. So that would be your intelligence, which is plus... Two three plus or three, five. Is, what's your intelligence at? I think it's... Let me see. Isn't it? Did you, did you put it up to 18? Into the bag. Intelligence is 18, yeah. So it's, four. so it's plus four. So it's six health. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Tim basically just did that himself. Yeah, <laughs> he no, honestly, he just forced me to use my spell. Well, he didn't force you. Max, you could have said roll no. the dice. Use your spell slot, Max. I don't know it, it came off like that. Max, Max, we're not going to take another short rest. No, I get this, it. I get it. I was just in the session. Okay, okay, okay. Into the bag. Um, so... Mr. Uh, Smart Boy Tyros. You, sword in the fire. You take your sword out of the fire. Um, give me one it's a great sword, by the way. It's a great sword? Yeah. Now it's a super sword. No. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, super sword. Fuck, why can't I find this? And you... Oh, shit, that rolled all... Oh, shit, that rolled perfectly. It rolled down the book and landed on 12. You pull your greatsword out, and you realize it's sharper. It has a slight glow to it, oh. and it is a plus one greatsword for oh. 12 oh, hours. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Bitch. So That's less exciting, but dungeon. it's still exciting. <laughs> yeah, we've... <laughs> We're about to finish the dungeon, and I get a plus one greatsword for 12 hours. <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay, cool. Do you tell your friends about this? I throw myself into the fire. No, just... You're a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plus one elf, or whatever. Guys, fuck. guys, guys, guys. That's the not fire. your voice. Oh, yeah, you're more the Batman voice. Yeah. I didn't call you out last time. I should have. <laughs> I can't hear. I heard <laughs> none of that. That's your mic. He's turning into Batman, guys. Let him work. Let him cook. Let him cook. It's powerful. <laughs> My sword feels sharper. There we go. My brain more honed for the hunt. Thank you. <laughs> Bing does not require such crude weaponry. His fists suffice. The fact your sword is quote unquote better does not matter. Damn, you don't even try to put your fist into the fire? Bing has fought off 40 bandits at once with these oh fists. Oh my god, Tyler. you don't put the fist in the fire? <laughs> no. Okay. No one else? Mm. 
I'll do it just because I have resistance. Motherfucker like me gonna put my fish in the fire. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you have actual weapons you can put I was fire, joking right? that Ryan used fist. his fit. You know, <laughs> I was joking oh. that Ryan can puff his fist. You can put your weapon in the fire or whatever you have. I'll put my lightning launcher. If it is it gonna is that there a risk it breaks? No. You okay, just yeah, well, yeah. you just saw your boy Tyros put his sword in, and nothing happened, but it got stronger. So that all right, all right. Yeah, and yeah, you know, you, with your in, Arcana yeah. check, you know this isn't like a destructive oh, okay. spell. Ah, cool, cool. uh, <laughs> motherfucker, let me go get the pack a punch. Get pop put my lightning launcher in there. Yeah, get the pack a punch. All right, how does this change? You the the lightning launcher, what the fuck it's called, is a. Uh, plus one now so when you roll to attack and do damage you'll add plus one to both of those is that also for 12 hours oh i gotta roll that thank you oh. thank you my friend that's nine hours oh that's how that works okay yeah. i would like to put my long sword in all right and same very similar you let it rest in the fire and let it cook and heat up and when you pull it out it seems sharper shinier almost has a slight hue to it um and your sword is now a plus one for five hours so magical weapons everywhere but temporary all right so what would you guys like to do now next we still have to find Nundro. Yeah, you guys have not found Nundro. I, I saw a door to the south when I chased the spider. Who the fuck is Nundro? It's, uh, <laughs> it's Gundren's brother, the one we're looking okay, for. Okay. Motherfucker, let me forget. Alright, yeah. I will head that way if y'all would like to follow <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna head south here. Yeah, I'm I'm heading over here to the door. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, listen in on the door first before I open it. Okay. Uh, what is that? Is that perception? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty twenty-one. Mm-hmm. Um. I think the most you can hear is the skittering of rats, if anything. Like, it just seems like a, you don't hear much else. Uh, you okay. also notice when you go up to the double doors um, that these doors are slightly ajar, slightly cracked open. But they oh, have these okay. iron hinges that are partially melted that are in the way. They're kind of blocking the door from the other side. Okay. Uh, can I still try and, like, push the door open? Um, would, are you trying to, like, you, you go up to push it and it, it seems like it's, it's stuck with that iron behind it. If you do want to force it open. Malachor. Malachor, yeah, the door is stuck. I would like a hand with this. Yeah, let's try to shove it open. Yeah together can we need to do a strength check uh, uh yeah malachor if you're helping him be yeah. um malachor can roll with advantage oh uh strength check not a save oh my bad that's okay yeah. uh fuck you just hit strength we'll get there one day oh my god the double eights Eight. again Eight. what Dude, the fuck i swear to god that's why i hate roll 20 <laughs> I it get does shit like that all the time. <laughs> um, so you and Bing, uh, kind of give it all. You're all pushing into this, and it's just not budging for you. Okay. Well, then we had somebody that had some control of fire that could perhaps melt the iron. I can try my best. My all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick step back from the door. All right. I'm gonna step. Me too. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up to like here. Let me see what I can do. Uh, what should I use? Let me let me think what the best way to handle this is. 
What would be the best way to handle this? I think I uh, use the produce flame or whatever, right? That would probably be best. Sure. Where the hell is it? Oh, it looks like I just have fire bolts. But I do. Oops. I need to get this up. Okay. We know you have produced flame. Let's. I don't use have the roll. Would it be the roll as the same as a uh, firebolt, probably? Uh, no. I mean, no like just a... tell me what you want to do with it. Okay. Uh, I fucking get my hands and I'm getting them burning really fucking hot and I'm pressing them against the bolts of the doors and I'm trying to melt this shit so that one of these boys, once it's melted enough, can bust it open. Okay. Bing. Get the fuck ready. You're charging it. <laughs> so I'll say that um, with you, you sitting there for a while and kind of almost blowtorch this door in a, in a way. You're just kind of holding heat to it to try to soften the metal. Um, and I'll say with that action, it uh, successfully lowers the DC save you have to make. Um, so if you want to try again, you can. If you want to do the same. Yeah, let's try the strength check. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Hey, and at yep. 20. There we go. Didn't even need it. So this time around, um, you go up and the metal seems so much weaker, and you're able to bust into uh, this room. Just give me one sec. Just show you that. There's nothing down there. So that's why I show you. Dust ash walls are blackened by fire and heaps of debris beneath the sagging ceiling show that this room was damaged by a destructive blast. The furnishings, tables, chairs, bookshelves, beds are charred of splintered. Or charred or splintered. Sorry. A scorched iron chest stands near the foot of one of the beds. The adjacent closet on the south wall is full of rubble. So that... Uh, room down there is full of rubble anyways. Okay, can I check the uh, chest? Uh, yep. So it's unlocked. Um, and are you ready to write things? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. So there's 50 gold pieces. Uh, 50... Uh, we'll split that up, so whatever 50 divided by 4 is. Oh, yeah, because fucking Omri's not here. God damn it. Yeah, make the math easy. I'm not even answering his phone, this motherfucker. Uh, so it's... It would be 12, and then... Mm -hmm. What would that be, like, full extra? Do you want me to tell you all of the stuff you find first before you start dividing each individual uh yeah if you want to do that okay so then there are five malicites worth 10 each so that's kind of like another 50 almost how do you spell that you just... uh malachites malachites malachite uh yeah that yeah it's malachite mal yeah god i gotta stop smoking before recording <laughs> <laughs> that's all right uh, elliot i'm fucking drunk so i don't worry <laughs> Five of those. Yeah. When you guys moved into the okay. room, I was just that. staring at my fucking screen. <laughs> I saw you. I was like, "What's going on there, bro?" I was just looking at my screen, like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <coughs> and then uh, you I'll find... be right back, boys. Okay, you find a wooden pipe, and it um <coughs> it has carved into it a uh a tree. And then it has hanging off of it um, a platinum filigree. So the platinum itself would be worth around 150. Hey guys, it's Elliot here, your favorite dungeon master. Your favorite Star Wars character, and I think that's going to be it for that one, that fun bit. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this episode. This will be the last episode of this chapter. Yippee, so the boys will level up and we'll move on. Um, I had 
a fun time running this part of it. I think this chapter was pretty cool overall. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that. Uh, secondly, uh, when this releases, it'll be August 1st. Uh, my birthday is August 2nd. So I will be turning 26. Wow, that number sounds a little more serious than it should. However, 26 is probably the new 16 these days since no one can afford anything. So yeah. Um, what else? Any other updates? I think that's all. I think the next chapters, maybe the next, the rest of the campaign, I may shoot to try to have the main three maybe include Varus and stuff. I'm just trying to find out who is actually kind of committing the most to the podcast. I know uh, Ryan slash Bing and uh, Tyro slash Tim are very committed Varus is a little up and down, um, and then uh, Mike, or Malacord, my dad, is also committed. Sorry, I forgot to leave. So those are the main three, and then Varus is kind of like committed, but up and down. So we'll see who stays for the rest of the book, but I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, like I always say, we don't have sponsors or anything, so please share where you can. Uh, like, we're on Spotify, we're on YouTube, uh, so go check both those out, follow uh, rate all that fun stuff it helps out a whole lot um and yeah i'll get you back to the episode the second half is uh, a doozy i can i can tell you that now bye hey guys quick ad and we'll get you back to the show uh do you feel like you aren't part of a tabletop community do you want to meet new people with the same love and passion for tabletop rpgs uh as you well look no further than rock bottom bards rock bottom bards is a new podcast hosted by colin devon where they dive into the world building and mechanics uh, within different tabletop RPGs. They drop an episode every week, and that will keep you updated on what's going on within the community of tabletop RPGs. They also have a Discord filled with beautiful and wonderful people to chat with. Uh, Their community has been amazing so far. Uh, Drop into the Discord and say hi. You can also catch a live recording while you're there. The link is in the description of this podcast, and I'll see you at the bottom. It should be two fifty total if you sell the Malak Malakite. Yeah. And as you open the chest and look through it, you I'll say you guys were kind of. Oh, which lay am I on? You're kind of looking in the chest. I'll say everyone was kind of in here, somewhere in here. And you hear uh, from behind you, everyone. Oh, yeah, brother. I bet you like looking through others' treasures, don't ya? And a ghost appears. Let me see if I can get that zoom, that fun zoom action. Is this Pacho Man Randy Savage? Oh, yeah, brother. You're from the dead. Uh, Roll initiative. Okay. Well, we like looking through ours. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, I forgot I can. Do then that. we're waiting on Tim. Yeah, I can look at Tim's character sheet and just roll his initiative as well, because I'll make life easy. Unless his initiative is very, very high, and he goes first. Uh, I'll just roll Tim's initiative. Wonder if I can roll it from his sheet. Yo, wait, how do you do it? Click that. You just click on it. Oh, it. damn, look at that. It's, it was, it didn't lock him in. It did lock him in, look! Yeah. That's, that's cool as shit. Okay, I can actually do that. Well, that's good that uh, it's this guy's turn and then it's your turn, Ryan, because that gives us some time to spare. Yeah. And it's almost like, oh, yeah, brother, I bet you're here for the treasure in the forge, aren't you? I'm talking we to you, have, robot. We have already, we have already went to the forge. You found the forge, did you? I bet you got past the spectator. Going British. Who is the spectator you speak of? Oh yeah, it was the guard of the forge. Yeah. So you guys killed it. 
the eyeball creature. Oh yeah, that's him. We have neutralized him. Oh yeah, really, that's the cream of the crop. I love to hear that. Uh, me and him didn't really get along. So we have done you a favor. Oh yeah, you have. But right now, I don't like anyone being in here. So that's why I'm going to fight you. We are only here for a compatriot. We have no quarrels with you. You have no need for these worldly possessions. You can haunt the halls as you wish. Oh yeah, brother. I wish I was persuasive enough because you make a very good point. Can I uh, roll persuasion <laughs> persuasion check? Sure. Can I can I roll persuasion? You haven't said anything. Check? You haven't said anything. <laughs> it's not my turn yet. I know. Okay. I, I mean, I don't know if I, am I allowed to discuss with this guy when he's talking so, to me. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, you can yeah. jump in, Malakor. Hey, brother. Oh Why yeah. Let us <laughs> let us buy, and and we don't won't have to hurt you. All right. Oh, you're going to be the one that gets the hurting in the ring now. So you're... I failed with my persuasion check then? No. Well, you rolled a 24. <laughs> but he's not very persuasive. It was probably like nat 20 and you'd get it. Oh, yeah. I think Ryan's close. Uh... Oh, but I like your... I like the way you think. But, I'm more mask, and I used to be a wizard here at these forge, and I really hate when people come in here after what has happened. Okay, you should probably either go ahead and do what you're going to do, because your, your chatter is kind of annoying. Oh okay. yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Bring it on, brother. Uh, and he's going to summon a little friend. And behind Whoa. Tyros pops Whoa. a little specter. That was just something I found. But yeah, like a ghost. Uh, he summons a ghost to help him fight. And he... Oh, God. Oh, you're here. Okay. He pops kind of between... Oh, wait, no. Over here. And uh, he's going to swing at Malakor. So he's going to go and kind of claw at you. Oh, he was talking shit to Bing first. He was, but you're, then you talked. You to... But you talked a lot of shit. Bing didn't talk a lot of shit. Oh right. God, um, Mac. that's twenty-two damage, Malakor. Yo. Oh yeah, no, you got in the ring with me. Uh, what? There's not even a roll against his armor it's, class. Wait, how? It's how much damage? Oh, it's twenty-two to hit. Oh, I'll, dude, I was about to say. Yeah, thank, thank you, Ryan. And it's 20, 22 hits? Yeah. Uh, that's 21 necrotic damage. Oh, have I just been given an initiative roll? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I found out how to roll for you, brother. Oh, thanks for rolling shit, brother. I did it. The computer did. <laughs> oh, yeah, M Malachor. That's what is a... this fucking? Uh, it's it's more mask. Yeah, we're we're now fighting a uh, savage. Malakor, can you give me a Constitution saving throw? Oh, I thought you already told me I had the damage. I yeah, now I need a con off. now I need a Constitution saving throw. Okay, you just beat it. You rolled a fourteen. You don't want to know what happens if you don't uh, successfully save that. Um, that's the end of the uh, race turn. I need to roll for this specter. It's gonna roll. zero. I got to roll a d20. Okay, that uh, didn't fuck. Do I do exclamation point roll? Uh, yeah. That, well, that did nothing. 
Okay, I'm just gonna roll my fucking real life. Oh, I think it's slash. Uh, oh, it's slash. Yeah. Okay, so actually, it is the specter's turn because it got an 18 on initiative, uh, and it's gonna swing uh, behind you at you, Tyros. It had Bring to summon it this little ghost. Uh, seven plus four, eleven. I don't think that hits. No. Cool. Uh, that's their turn. Uh, Bing. Uh, Bing will step up here. Okay. Take a swing at the ghost of Macho Man. War masks the name, brother. <clears throat> I will only recognize you as Macho Man Randy Savage. Uh, that would be... That's copyright. <laughs> uh, 21 to hit. Ah, uh, that hits. Okay. Who is this macho man you speak of? Yeah, uh, Damage on that is 5. Was with the staff. Okay. So then, uh, do bonus action, and I will do... Spend a key point to do flurry of blows. Alright. So I get 2... Uh, punch, punch, punch. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll both at once. Uh, one is god damn, I just fucked up again. Was it plus six? Uh, one's thirteen. Mm -hmm. The other one's eight. Uh, the thirteen hits. Oh wow. That'll be six damage, and I will go ahead and do. Hmm. Uh, what do I want to try? I'll try a uh, cold damage against them. Okay, that was six. Yeah. So as you're whoo, 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 Rocky Balboa kind of punching into this guy, you feel like your fists kind of are going through like it's making it's almost like punching through air like you can feel the air moving around these punches and it was kind of the same with the staff like it felt like as if you were just fighting with air almost mm -hmm. um is that your turn yeah that's it all right tyros okay uh, i'm gonna swing my great sword was there a, a lannister named tyros uh, I Tyrion. Like, I know, but Tyros yeah. Lannister sounds like it. Uh, oh, what, was the, what was the dad's name? Oh, Tywin. 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 It's so it's close. Also, it's so it's so <laughs> close. Cameo? It's very close. That's that's actually pretty. Funny. I just thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm swinging. You're swinging on the Spectre or the uh, Macho Man Ghost. Mm, on whatever I just pinged. The Spectre. Is that my? The Spectre, yeah, okay. Spectre. Ooh, 24. 24 hits. Okay. Uh, it's 2d6. Mm. Um, 7 plus... Hold on. What's the little eyeball on my guy? Oh, that Sorry. was a status effect from the last fight. I can take that off. 13... 13 total? Magical damage? Okay. It's a magic weapon, so... Yep, exactly. Plus 13, right on. And you feel, when you swing down with your uh, great sword, you feel as if you're contacting flesh, which is weird yeah. because it's still like a specter, but you feel like a little bit of resistance. Not yeah. a little bit, but a good amount of uh, resistance. It's mm -hmm. not like just the air. Sick. Yep. Is that your that's, turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Uh, Malachor. Alright, I am swinging <laughs> with a longsword. Alright, magical too. And, did you add uh, the plus one to your damage, Tim? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus okay. six, so it's, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, Does that hit? Who are you swinging on? Uh, the... Uh, Randy Savage, dude. Okay, yeah, that hits. Yeah, definitely Macho Man. Oh, yeah, it's Mormask. Remember the name. Mormask. 
So cool. I'm going to hit that, and I'm also going to run Smite on that motherfucker. Okay. Um, so that's 15 damage. That was a 10 roll plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 1. 2d8 for Smite? Is that right? 2d8s? Uh, yep. Yeah. Holy shit. I'd max. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. 13. So 15 plus 13. Holy shit. Okay. So, oh, yeah. I didn't know you were built like that. When you swing down on... Oh, yeah. This guy's built, man. When you swing down on more mess, he's like, Oh, brother, that how are you hurting me there? You better not have used the forge on your weapons. Uh, and he seems to be pretty beat up from that. A little, a little scared. Uh, Sargon! All right, brother. Let me see what I can do. Speaking of W, did you see Hulk Hogan open up for Donald Trump? Oh, yeah. No. Trump a mania coming for you. <laughs> Trump since I'm not better than Biden. Him, since Trump I'm not right next to the guy, I'm just going to Better than to Biden, quick, boys. It's better than Biden. Lightning launcher. And then another lightning launcher. Plus one. So 13 plus 5 plus 1. So you're shooting. So 13 yeah. hits. 13. That's your D. That's your. That's not your damage. Just. Oh, uh, eight. Then eight plus five plus one. Okay. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Fourteen. Boom. Six, Sweet. 14. So Sogon comes, runs around, with pulls out. What does your lightning launcher look like? What do you What do you imagine it looks like? It's It's fucking part of my chest. It's basically my heart. I'm like Tony Stark. Okay. So you Iron Man it. So you just Hell pull yeah. out you pull out your little magical nipple and just It doesn't even come out. No, it's uh, just a fucking it's like a hollow blue fucking flat crystal. Oh and it just I was imagining leaves. one of your nipples lightning. just shot lightning out of it, but I mean it, it kinda looks like a shit ton of nipples when all the lightning's jumping on my Oh, desk. Cool, hot. Alright, and that was yeah, thirteen. I got a lot of nips. And that's lightning damage, right? Technically? I believe so. Okay. All right. So as you run around the corner and do your weird fucking Tony Stark thing, pew, pew, um, you see your lightning bolts fly, and it almost looks as if they kind of went right through the specter. Like it was hard to see it react uh, to those beams of lightning. Oh no! Um, Ghosts are immune to lightning. Not immune. Not immune. It still seemed like it had taken some of that specter with it. It just looked like it just had gone through it. More mask. Oh yeah, you guys really think you're the shit, aren't? Don't you? We are. Well, I'll show mask. you my my pretties. Uh, <laughs> Don't call me pretty, brother. <laughs> and another little specter appears uh, behind Ryan. Oh yeah, it's time to take you down, brother. Don't um, let him get you, Bing. And more. Ooh, more mask is going to float almost, almost through Malachor as if his body goes right through Malachor's. And Malachor, you have a chill that is sent down your back from this. It feels very unwelcoming to have someone almost possess you Wait, for a little bit. If he's moving by us, doesn't that give us a chance? He's to, still, uh, he's still within yeah. your range. Opportunity attacks yeah, so or he, if they leave your range, he, he had went through you as a ghost and you, you feel as if your body was possessed, uh, for a small amount of time and you take three force damage from that as he kind of passes through you um and then he's gonna swing at bing that was almost a nat 20 ryan you would have taken 42 damage this turn that would have been crazy that would have like dude Oh, yeah, that, that was scary. Actually killed me. Uh, fourteen plus six though is a twenty. Yeah, so that, that hits. Um, and 
he's going to so that's 21 necrotic damage yeah things knocked out and then can you give me a dc doesn't matter i'm knocked out <laughs> yeah it matters okay what is, what am i doing Wait, give me a constitution saving throw uh 14 holy fuck you just made you guys oh you're yeah, so luckily i took proficiency in constitution so i have a plus five this saving throws so i rolled a nine how did you choose proficiency in constitution is that given I based know, on let class me choose it. I, let me choose it oh okay enter maybe that's monk me i don't know i don't know man oh no saving are saving throws race based or class based yes too? They are saving race. throws are no saving throws are class based. It let me choose it. Huh? What that's do you mean a... it let you? Choose that's that's it. why I was wondering. I heard him say let me choose. Where where did it let you choose that? When I made it on uh so when we originally made them on uh D and D Beyond, it let me choose it. So I just added it in when I did uh the roll twenty character sheet. Yeah. So what's your wrong, I can change it. What's your other uh proficiency then? Dexterity. Dexterity. Oh, you're save for a monk saving throws are strength and dexterity. Oh, okay. Well then it's probably only a plus four then. No, plus three, so yeah, I take it. It would be a twelve then. Okay. Sorry, I don't. I didn't. I just was confused how it let you choose. That's what I, I don't was know. Wondering. Let me choose it when I did it. Here, I'm gonna double check it before we ch can monks yeah. choose yeah. their saving throw proficiencies. By the way. Uh, let's see. This is this is a great use of our time right now is looking into this. Yeah. Monks get the Oh no 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 it, you you are right. It is just strength index. Okay, okay, right on. Yeah, let me change that because I did not have strength chosen then. Nope, that's okay. Okay. Right on. Yeah, so it's a it's a twelve then. So with a twelve, your maximum hit points are reduced by twenty one. Uh, would you... I put that in like temporary hit points then, or how would I do that? Um, or is this like a forever type of thing? You don't know that, but you feel okay. as if your mechanics, your electronics have weakened drastically, as if you have aged almost. Well, I don't know like how to put this. Uh, in maybe to make without it, like... without paper. If you have paper, just write like quickly max age. <sighs> Like hit points equal twenty yeah, or, uh, find somewhere. Or you can just type it in on your character sheet. Yeah. As well. Well yeah, brother, that's what you get for stealing for more mask. Uh it's the Spectre's turn. So this one's gonna fly over to Sugon and take a swipe at him. Oh man, where'd that go? Fuck. So he's gonna come over and he's gonna swipe at ya. Swiping, I was swiping. All right, swiped it. Do your swipe. I'm swiping like a credit card. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. All right. All right, does that hit? Yeah. Yeah, we just upgraded 18, brother. Wait, didn't that guy move? Which? Well, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm down, down, so we so moved Tim's down. down. Range. No, no, you. Did, no did, one gets opportunity that... attack. I'm down. No, no, no. I'm the one that's down. You moved out of my attack. That, that Wraith moved out of my attack space. No, he wasn't in your attack. He was dude. here. There's dude. another one. There's uh, another one. All right. Uh, How much does he hit me for? Um, 14. Can you give me a constitution saving throw, brother? Literal brother. Good. 11. Boom, you, you just make it. Um... And then this specter is going to swing at you, Tyros. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's an 18 plus 4, 22. Yeah, that hits. Oh. Oh, my God. 17. 
I'm down. Fuck. <laughs> so, Tyrus is in. Can you give me a constitution dice. saving throw? Ten. Uh, three. Uh, <laughs> your max health is reduced by uh, that 17 damage. You can just write that down somewhere. It doesn't have to be. Yep. By uh, how much? 17. Max health is reduced by 17. What the fuck? Uh, being I'm rolling your death saving throw, yeah. and I will whisper that to you, that result. Is it slash or exclamation point? I think it is slash. slash. Oh, I forgot to type your name in. <laughs> cool. So... Tyros! Oh, fuck. Saving throw! I know. I saw how happy I was. I was so ready to see you do some cool shit. Beautiful. Malachor! Alright, I will swing with my two-handed longsword. Ooh. That's not gonna hit, is it? No, that just barely hits. Or misses, sorry, sorry. Misses, misses. <laughs> okay. Anything else you could do? No. Bonus actions? I don't think so. Okay. Sargon! What's up? Let's do it. So, this bitch ass Wraith is right in front of me. That is so, a bitch ass um, Wraith. But my melee is not the best, so. I think I still need to attack others. Uh, I'm gonna go for Don Cheadle again. Don Cheadle? Big boy. Okay. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna shoot? Lightning, lightning launcher. So that will be a disadvantage. Uh, because... What about fire against ghosts? What? No, no. You have an enemy within five feet of you try and you're trying to do a range attack. So I have attack. to. Okay. Alright, I guess, I guess I just go for the dagger. So you're gonna miss us. <laughs> it's a nat one. Um, as you stab, you you put in a lot of force behind this stab, and you end up where the ghost. Um, you feel that chill too, as if you have almost accidentally walked through a ghost, and you're gonna take three thunder or uh, force damage. So, yeah, minus right. three. Is that your turn? Uh, can I use a spell, too? No. If it's a bonus action, you have to make... Yeah. Cure Wounds is not a bonus action, right? No. All right, yeah, no. All right, next turn. All right. That's more mass. Oh, yeah, brother. What were you saying about taking me down? Walking into rooms you don't know what what there is in it. That doesn't seem too smart, brother. Uh, that misses. As he tries to claw you and take some of your life away with him. Um, Spectre's turns. So one's going to swing at you, Max. That's a natural one. Nice. So, trying to think. I'll... S Ooh. What can I do? I don't know. They're specters. I can't really get rid of their weapons, so it would just be a nat one. Uh, and this one's going to come up to you, Mike. It's going to swing. That doesn't hit. It was a four. That doesn't hit. Uh, and that's their turn. Bing gets his. Ooh. Bing. So Omri texts me back, and Tyrus is turning, I'm going to roll. Uh, Omri texted me back and was like, I'm at work. And I was like, why did you Why did you say you could play tonight <laughs> on our voting? Um, Elliot, when, okay, hold on. Hold up. Does that, that's my second, or I? That is your set, yeah, the number equals. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Malachor, it's your turn. You have one little specter in front of you, and you have big macho man kind of standing over being. 
swinging at big dude. All right. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> yeah, nine does not hit. Um, do you not you you don't have any other bonus actions you can do? I don't think so. Okay. Just gonna just gonna crit. I think most of my stuffs are just actions. I know you definitely have some bonus actions, or at least like channel divinities, maybe. Let me just double check all that. Uh, I think the channel divinity is an action. Well, that's what I mean. Like, you don't have to swing every turn. Like, you say, like, all your stuff's an action, but, like, you can do more than just swing a sword. As a power. Okay, thing. well, I decided I wanted to swing the sword. And that's okay. Oh, I was just looking at what else. I'm more concerned with getting rid of this guy before he finishes me off. That sounds gay, but you said it. <laughs> um, Sagan. Uh, can if I cure wounds, can I bring one of those boys back? If you get, you have to get to them, and yeah, if you heal them with cure wounds, you stabilize them. You take an opportunity. Well, so unless you move here and get me. You would take, or like here, you would take an opportunity attack. You would like try and get to Tim. I can rotate around this guy without taking opportunity. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you're still in his range. Yeah, exactly. So maybe, okay. maybe if you go here, uh, just so the other specter, like the big guy, won't hit you. Maybe. All right. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna cast cure wounds on the boy being. All right. So oh, do that, that roll and tell me how much. One d eight plus. Four. Okay. So ten. Ten, bitch. Yep. So Bing All is right. back up with ten hit points. And that is my turn. It's my action. All right. So, as more mask is taunting you guys, and you're, oh yeah, brother, you got nothing on me. Um, being you hear a familiar sound, like something that had happened earlier that I don't think you remembered. Mm. Maybe you remembered this sound and you hear, <clears throat> Hey guys, it's, uh, I'm walking here. <laughs> let's see what, the, let's, the let's see if rag. we can, uh, let's see if we can get my old more mess there. And the <laughs> the closet door the opens. York, right? The closet door opens, and you guys see a bunch of rats pour out. And these aren't just any rats; they look stinky, and they look like how a New Yorker would dress. And they Not all have the cigarettes, <laughs> and they all are eating hot dogs. Dude, when and... you said the rats were scurrying, and that's all I heard, I was hoping you would bring. <laughs> God, Ryan, I said that earlier and went, oh, fuck, he's going to think the New York rats are here. I didn't say anything because I didn't <laughs> want to ruin the surprise, but I was hoping they were there. Oh. Hey, look, it's my old boy. It's that robot that lit my cigarette for me, boys. Well, it looks like they're having trouble. Let's help them out. And uh, the rats roll initiative. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but the rats are now on your side helping you. Why do, Why did each individual rat get a roll? <laughs> That's not good. How do I get rid of them? Oh, no. All right. So the rats are here. This is fun. They kind of scurry up. Uh, and one of the rats comes up to you, Tim. Uh, and he says... <clears throat> Hey, I got I got the perfect health potion for you. Here, open your mouth, Tyro. Well, you're kind of unconscious, so I'm just gonna give it to you. Um, well, and this little this little New York rat gives you a health potion. Uh, so it's a forty. It is a forty, but we weren't gonna say. Um, fuck. The rat Ooh. hits you with a health potion. Yeah, I forgot. Do you have dice on you? Because I cannot find my dice at all. Like in uh, my yeah, two D four. Yeah, I can't. Why do the D fours always get lost, man? I know we had this discussion yeah, last time. Two D four plus two, Elliot. Yeah. Uh, yep. 
Okay. All right. So Tyrus is back up. Yeah. Uh, and Mormus goes, oh, yeah, you thought you could stop me, New York rats. I knew you'd, you'd be here. Oh, yeah, it's time to show you the cream of the crop, the spankadoodle dandy. Um, and it's going to fly. Uh, how much health did you get, Bing? I got 10. It's going to fly through you, Bing. Um, and you feel all your electronics kind of short circuit for a second. Uh, and you're going to take three. Or is it more? Three, sure. Uh, three. Oh, that's what you said earlier. For, I know. Uh, three like, force damage. Of... Well, I kind of roll the dice and then use a little bit of DM discretion to figure out how much oh, damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Three is enough for you. Um, and he is going to swing on this New York rat. Uh, who seems to be kind of the boss. This is the one you know, Ryan. This is your friend. The what's... one that bit my finger and then I lit his cigarette? Yeah. What's what's a New York name, Ryan? What would you name this little rat? I don't I don't know. I don't know any names for New York. Come on! Stores. Fucking throw me a name out. Uh-uh. All right. Tony! There we go. There we oh, go. Oh, that's actually perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it's Tony. And you see the Wraith swing at Tony and miss. Tony is not he's been in a couple street fights. He's a he's a uh he's got experience. Uh Spectre's turns. Uh the Spectre behind you, Sugon. Is gonna swing at you. That was a nineteen on the die, so I'm gonna assume that hits. Just nineteen seems pretty high. Um I have a feeling his armor class is 18, so yeah. Okay. I have a feeling he's just not here because he hasn't talked. He's probably taking a piss with us in his ear again because he's a weirdo. We'll hear him wash his hands. What's up? Yeah. One, oh, four, he is here. Three, five, eight. Uh, you're going to take eight damage, Sugon, as the specter okay. behind you kind of grabs on you and almost like a uh, Harry Potter. Um, Fucking god damn it, what is their name? She sucks my soul, yeah. He sucks your anything. soul, man. Well, what are they called, man? Head monsters and goblins. Like the They're not called those. head monsters or goblins. Which, the, which, the guards of Azkaban. Fucking oh, uh, Dementors. Dementor, yeah, Dementor style. Um, And this Wraith is going to try to attack you, Malachor. Whee! Uh, 16 on the die. Plus four twenty, so that hits. Oh, they're rolling. Oh, they rolled very, very shitty. Uh, so that's only four damage, necrotic. Okay, I'm down. He's not down. He's just down four hit points. Um, down, I'm down yeah. with really two. Down. I'm down to zero. What? I had four hit points. I thought you had seven hit points. No, that was me that had seven. What the fuck? Oh my god, I was reading the wrong person. Okay, Malachor, Boom. you fall from that hit. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I don't do death saving throws. I'm up and down. That's okay. It happens. It happens. <laughs> oh. Hey, buddy. Mesma, you leave my friends alone now. I'm going to take you to Pound Town, little guy. Uh, and he pulls out his little, his little knife, his little flip switch knife and that hits and uh ooh, that'll be that'll be good damage yeah there we go and he does eight damage to mesmar uh, as he flips the knife in and out almost like a butterfly knife what is that yeah that's a switch knife. um and then the other rat is gonna run over and attack from this angle so it has advantage kind of runs around the other side and that one hits as well this one doesn't have a fancy knife it's just biting at the ghost with its teeth hey i'm walking here too It's almost like a baby rat. Uh, the rat below there is going to take a swing. Uh, that hits. 
this uh, specter down here. Uh, this one kind of has like a small little baseball bat. Um, two, and that, you see just a little rat with the little baseball bat just swinging, beating the shit out of a specter uh, and kills the one down here. Two, three, four, five, and these rats are able to make it to this specter and they're both going to attack with they also have little one has like a crowbar and one has like a metal pipe you know you know new yorkers and their crazy shit uh only one will hit but only one holy shit oh it's joe's max health never mind that does 15 bat damage uh to that specter um being it's your turn all right, uh, I'll swing on the uh, big guy. I got an advantage now, right? Since yep. We're got him surrounded. Yep, exactly. There's someone on the opposite side. Okay. Oh, uh, I gotta go pretty soon. All Just right. Up. It's a 20, not natural. That hits. Yeah. Uh, six damage with the staff. Then. All right. Bonus. Gonna swing again. Uh, that one's twelve. That hit. oh wait. no, it doesn't. It's no, it doesn't. Plus is thirteen. Yep. <clears throat> All right, that's my turn. All right, Tyros. Let loose. Let uh, loose. Tyros is gonna step to that corner right next to the uh, specter and swing on the specter. Um, the specter up here? Yeah. Okay. Um, how are you going to get to it with, uh, are you going to take that way? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to go like here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, uh, I was going to step to the other corner. Which, which corner? Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on. <laughs> You're fucking. Say right side next to the rats. I I say corner. I meant to say like this. My bad. Oh, <laughs> you meant like to the like diagonal of him. Or yeah, adjacent. and I'm gonna swing. All right, swing away, my friend. Holy shit! Does a ten hit? Jeez. Fuck you, wish. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do the death saving throw for Malachor. Ooh, ooh, not good. In this fight, soon, boys. Um, Sagan. All right. Oh uh, fuck. What do I have? <laughs> Why do you have so many rats in the turn order, Elliot? I I, I don't. It like rolled a place? thing for all of them by accident, and I can't get rid of them. <laughs> So there's like uh, 10 rats waiting to go. It looks like I got to cure wounds myself. Fucking, alright. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. So you're casting D8 cure plus wounds four, on yourself. That's 12. Alright, cool. Yeah, you Alright, that's my turn. Right on. So you see Sugon kind of channel his own energy back into himself. Um, and he looks livelier. Oh, yeah, brother, you think because you have me surrounded that I'm not going to kill you? Why did my voice go cockney, like, in the middle of that? I hate when that happens. It's so stupid. It's kind of hard to hold his tone, though. Ooh, natural one. And I'm going to say he's he was attacking uh, Tony, Tony the rat. And as he swings trying to grab onto Tony, Tony kind of dodges out of the way and the Wraith gets a part of Tony's switchblade. Um, and it's going to take uh, six damage. Uh, it's the rat's turn. Uh, Tony is going to swing on big guy. Hey, I'm walking here. You think you're a big guy there, Mer Mermac? Whatever your fuck name is, Monresk, Mornresk, but you ain't shit. I run this city. This is my cave now. Uh, and it hits. And he kind of goes up and stabs Mormesk, uh as he's flying towards the rat. 
Uh, he kind of holds it out and stabs into his glowing eye. Uh, and the race kind of balls like, oh, brother, I can't believe you stabbed my eye. Uh, as he fall, it kind of floats up in the air and explodes into beautiful confetti. Uh, and these two specters, or that specter, that one specter falls. And uh, Tony comes up to you, Bing, and uh, holds out his little paw. Does he say anything? Yeah, I'm Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Tony. Yeah, that's me. Hey, hey, this, hey, thanks for taking care of more mess for us. I don't think we could have done it without you. Thank you for the help, compatriot. Yeah, you're welcome. You, you wanna? I know you don't have a mouth to smoke, but if you ever wanna smoke a cigarette, drink a forty, or just listening to some old R and B, you, you, you let me know. You give Tony a call, and uh, he hands you a little business card. Uh, that said, Tony. Right, I'm gonna make sure that, I write that in my character sheet. Yeah, it uh, says. Oh no, write it. It's an item. Tell me when you're ready. <clears throat> the how right, are we yeah. calling? I have the banana phone. The banana phone. Ah. Uh. uh, this is Tony and the gang's uh business card defense unit, kind of like a gang <laughs> defense or like a mob defense. How they would pay the mob to protect their business. And once per long rest, you can call Tony and the gang uh, to help you. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me actually add this. Yeah. To, like, my feet. Instead. Yeah, this is an item. <laughs> now, you call me anytime you need anything. As long as you can light our cigarettes, I think we can help each other out here. Thank uh, you, Tony. Yeah, no problem. What? I, you know, I never asked. What are you guys doing in here anyways? It seems like you've defeated all the the evil people in here, so can't assume you're also evil. Never mind Look. me. I'm just bleeding out. Looking for loot. <laughs> oh, that's all you're looking we for? Well, rummaging for treasures. A lot of the treasure in this cave has uh, been rummaged through. This is a pretty old place, and uh, I don't think you're going to find much more. If anything, there's more death than treasure here. Yeah, we should probably get out. Uh, yeah. Can I do a uh, medicine check on? Does anyone have Malachor? anything to heal Malakor? Nothing I can use on him. My only healing is for myself. I'm out of spells. Holy shit! You've used three already. I mean, I used the first one on you, and then the second one and the third one on me because I was about to die. Yeah. Well, he, he used one on you, then he used one on me, then he used one on himself. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Oh, Yeah, I have no healing. Yeah, so medicine check, Yeah, give me a medicine check. I'm sure I, I bought a health potion back at the shop. Do you still have it in your inventory? I haven't used it, yeah, yeah. I have to... Oh, then give it to, give it to Malik. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice. I thought we had, like, a group stash or something. No, we kind of ran through all the ones we had. Oh yeah, you guys Already. really, really are good at going through these. What's that, a D8? No, it's uh, two, 2D4s. 2D4, 2D4 plus 2. Nice. Alright. 1, six 3, out. 4, plus 2, 6. So, Malakor, you're back up. You feel better. You got 6 health. You're good to go. Um, we got, we got breath, now, boys. We're fucked up. sleeping so good. Now, being another thing that came to mind when Tony asked, what are you guys doing here? Mm. Was uh, maybe looking for Gundren's brother? <laughs> Forgot about that one. Would you like to mention Tony, that? wait, before you go, have you seen oh. Nundro? Who he Nundro? Is a dwarf. He is a dwarf. He got captured by the spider. Oh shit! Yeah, there was a crazy thing that happened where the spider that fucker Neznar Nez uh, he killed one of the fucking dwarves, and then he took the other one. Uh, and my boys said they saw him uh, in the back of the room, like kind of, kind of where Nez was. 
Are you talking about the room with the statues? Yeah, yeah, the statue of the dwarf with the emerald eyes and all that shit. Was it Nez the Wait, guy hold on, that ran away from w us? Yeah, so Neznar already ran away. Wait, are you talking about up in uh, W19? Yeah, the dwarf with yeah. him when he ran away. No, he didn't have the dwarf with him because we were fighting him. Like, Yeah, I mean, but he came with us. There was no dwarf in the room where he was at. And it's not like he had it in a, unless he carried a dwarf in his pocket. When you guys so, went up into the shrine room that Nez was in, yeah. I mentioned there was a door to the right. And everyone ignored me and just walked into the room. Someone walked right into the room. Alright guys, I gotta go. I never Okay. I'll see you. Bye, Max. No, I never I never walked right into the room because I walked Where's here and then peeked here, around the corner right? to spy yeah. on them. Where's the door to the right? It's oh, it's it's right up here. Yeah. I see. So it's all coming back to memory as <laughs> as uh, Yeah, I know I never looked through that door. Yeah. But, like, I never walked directly into W. -9. I don't know I if it was you. Here. It was someone. Someone just fucking no, walked in. No, no one in, walked because so. I was the one. I was the first one there, and I peeked around the corner because we were sneaking. Okay. Well, no one. Dialogue. And no one went into the room. Yeah. No. All right. Well, let's head up to uh. Let's head back up to that door then. All right. So you. I'd, there's nothing that's going to happen. So you guys make it back uh, to the shrine room uh, and find a kind of like a little wooden door, kind of like it would go to a closet or something. Um, and as you open it up, uh, you see dusty draperies of red and gold adorning the walls of this room, which also contain a bed and a brazier. A badly disheveled dwarf lies bound and unconscious on the cold stone floor. Nundro, is that you? Uh, he doesn't respond. Uh, can I check for uh, vitals? Yeah, you can give me a medicine check. Excuse me. 16. All right. So with your 16, you're checking vials. He's still breathing. The heart is still pumping. And as you're touching him with your gold robot hands, he he opens his eyes a little. He says, Gund Gundren, Gundren, is that you? We are friends of Gundren. We are here to get you out. A friend of Gundren is a friend of mine. I'm very weak right now. Are you able to carry me out? Yes, I can. Right on. Uh, yeah, we can get him out. Yeah. Are you going to carry Just Nundro? Get that bad boy up. Team. We're going to hit him with a team carry. Nice. A little team carry. So you bring Nundro uh, back to uh, Gundren. Uh, hey! hey! Did you, did you find Nundro? Yes, yes, we have found him. He oh, is here. Is he okay? He looks pretty beat up, but alive. Okay, bring him here. Bring him here. Um, no, and him Gundren down. has a little kind of camp set up in this cave now. Um, the other Rock Seeker brother's body is not there. Uh, and Gundren lets you know that uh, he has buried uh, him outside. Um, that was, uh, that was not Nundra, it was Tharden. So Tharden is buried outside of Wave Echo Cave with a small little, uh, stone, uh, tombstone or headstone. Um, Nundra, Nundra, what did they do to you? I don't want to role play with myself. Uh, because that's weird talking to I myself. think we should get him back to uh, the town. Yes, I rest. agree. I agree Fandolin is the best place we should go, but it is getting dark, and I've set up camp, so we might as well stay here for now. Uh, and we also must discuss payment and award for bringing my brother 
back to me. Uh, and Gundren goes on to tell you that he is gladly uh, able to share 10% of share of the mine's profit uh, with you guys. So your party will get um, kind of like, yeah, let's say how many, are they? let's say 250 gold pieces at the start of each chapter. That would be ten oh, percent okay. of the profit. That'll be split among all of you, but anyone who's mm. keeping track of gold or whatever, just remind me it's the start of the chapter to uh remind you that Gundren has shipped uh gold to you. Okay. And how much gold was that? It's two hundred and fifty total. Not for total. each individual, it's like total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Total, yeah. total. You said total, on on I'm not dumb. It's total. I just want to. It's yeah, yeah, Tim. It's total. It's total, on, Tim. Come on. It's Wait. Total. So you're telling me that we just got a thousand gold as a party? That's crazy. That's total. No, that's crazy. Um. And Gundren goes on to explain that with the threats defeated, the main threats defeated him and Nundra. The Rock Seeker Brothers' plan was to bring this mine back to function, and. Mm -hmm part of the reason he was getting you guys he didn't realize the the spider was here or what was going on with that like he knew there was danger in this cave um but his main goal was to try to get people to help him kind of reestablish wave echo cave as an actual mining facility which with your guys's help is possible so the wave echo cave will no longer be raided with bandits and stuff like they will definitely have trouble but it is now a functioning mine um, and it's the Rock Seeker brothers who have done that. Uh, that is the end of this chapter. Um, you guys have beat Wave Echo Cave. That hey, was uh, chapter four. Well. Um, you level. know it. We're going hey. to level uh, level five, boys. And All right. yeah. So, uh, so another question I have is how long does the max HP thing last? Uh, you take a long rest and that goes away. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it I'm wasn't. Guessing we'll take the long rest by. Yeah, next yeah. By next time, you'll you'll have a long rest before uh, the next campaign. Just make sure I didn't. Let me make sure I didn't. Uh... No, I didn't forget anything. I just wanted to make sure. For level up. Uh, yep. It's you roll a hit dice plus your con. Yep. For your yeah. new max health. Yep. And you take average over if you don't roll. Okay. I think you rolled average, so. so. Yeah. Well, I, it's, it says it only for HP, average six, and then I rolled a five. Oh, I thought the average would be five. You're yeah, rolling I don't a know. D8. Maybe it's D8. Oh, it's a D8, the average is five. Oh, I don't know why. I know, I but. The... Oh, that's for Mike. Oh, okay, okay. That makes more sense. Second. Okay, that's why I was what? I was confused. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Um, but yeah, so you guys are level five. That's pretty exciting. Another exciting part is that is actually the end of the original starter campaign for D&D 5e. So that chapter we just played would have been the end of the starter campaign to kind of get into. What did you guys think about what do you guys think about the campaign up until now? Cuz now we're going into the what this book covers, what the uh Vendover the Shattered Obelisk covers, which is like an uh add-on or a, like an expansion to the original. Uh did you guys like it? Do you guys find that was like a good uh starting campaign i wish the newer guys were here for that so mike did you find that a pretty cool starter campaign like it gave you i enough... think it was pretty uh stressful sometimes there <laughs> oh no yeah i, I think it had like I mean, we came crazy... we came close to team wipes like twice yeah not three times right it, it's been at least like three okay um I think that's more just based off the fact that we don't really have, like, an actual healer. Like, nobody's, like, a cleric or anything. Uh, versus, like, the actual campaign itself. Yeah, I think the right. campaign recommends um, 
I think it actually tells you, like, I think it's, like, the starting class is, like, cleric, wizard, fighter. Like, they recommend mm -hmm. if you're playing to at least have one of those or all three of those if possible. I forgot where I read that, but I remember that being a thing. Like, it will recommend you, this is what you should have. Yeah. Uh, I'd say, I would say it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty in depth for like just a starter camp. I mean, I know the books can be very in depth, right? But yeah, I was surprised off the fact that it actually had like some side, like that side quest to it. Yeah, I really wasn't there for that one. Uh, yeah, there's a lot more exploring than I thought. It's not like yeah. streamlined. It's not super linear. Mm -hmm. I know for I know for most of the fucking campaigns so far, we've done shit like super backwards where we've gone and fought like the hardest shit and then went yeah. back and fought like easy stuff like uh in the red brand hideout we went straight and fought the uh yeah the you guys found the versus, boss like the level <laughs> <laughs> which i like... mean could be better because then you have all your spell slots and everything but yeah you're not supposed to do it that way <laughs> uh tim yeah, I... oh sorry no ryan. sorry ryan no nah, you're good tim I was gonna ask, did what did you like that? Yeah, it's enjoyable. Oh, it's yeah. a good campaign. Yeah, I think that's a good length. It took us what two months to beat that. Yes. Playing mainly every week for at least minimum an hour, so mm -hmm. that's a pretty good length. But we have so much more, boys. So much more. Yeah, uh, I'm very excited to see this. Yeah, what level does the whole thing go up to? I want to say twelve. Let me read the last chapter. I'm very, I'm very, very, very excited for the rest of this because it gets it. I've seen things I've never seen in D and D before, like creatures and places and stuff. So I think it's gonna be a really fun uh, yeah. rest of the adventure. But it's gonna yeah, get harder. Just remember to, that. I can't wait to fuck up the spider and. Uh... <laughs> Also, like the weird goblins, I want to figure out the backstory for them. Yeah, they play a pretty important role in this next, uh, this next half of the campaign. That's kind of why they're. I don't think in the original they exist, so I think it's like kind of what makes the shattered obelisk the shattered obelisk. Yeah, and then we also need to find out what the shattered obelisk actually is. Uh, yeah, it's twelfth level by the end of it okay all right yeah. well i can't wait for you to say the name of the book and this is the shattered obelisk and this is the shattered whoa. obelisk whoa he said, the name. he said the name well uh yeah thank you guys for playing D D. yeah